DBC makes their debut on Amazon Prime on pay-per-view tonight. That was some show. That was a some show. A lot of high drama. A lot of high drama. First of all, first and foremost, I'm Paulie Malinaji. This is Paulie TV. Sebastian Fandora is the new unified junior middleweight champion of the world with a split decision over Timothy Zhu. Or Timothy Zhu. Uh, we had the co-main event where... Uh, Isaac Cruz blew away uh, Rolly Romero. I was wrong on that one. I thought Rolly would actually win that fight. Uh, he'd be too physically strong. Man, was I ever wrong. Uh, we had uh, uh, Arisalan De Lara with a one-punch knockout of uh, Zarafa. And uh, we had uh, Julio Cesar Martinez with a decision. Solid card overall. Uh, not short of your controversy and drama. So let's get it on. You know, uh, first of all, good win. One-punch knockout over Michael Zarafa. It's a solid win for Lara, considering, you know, he's 40, 41 years old. Uh, solid defense of the WBA title. Zarafa wasn't, was never a world, world beater, but at the same time, he's been a pretty solid guy. And to get him out of there like that in a couple of rounds uh, with a one-punch knockout was, uh, uh, impressive. Well, this is a Martinez against, uh, Cordova. Sloppy fight. Uh, Martinez ends up winning it. But let's go into, uh, Let's go into the main event first, man. Let's go into the main event. Um, I think between the main event and the co-main event, I don't think the Vegas Commission had the best night ever. I actually think the Vegas Commission is disgraceful. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm going to give credit where credit is due. And and, and, and Sebastian Mandora deserves uh, all the credit in the world. And so does Isaac Cruz. Uh, but I, got, I can't just talk about this show without talking about what a disgrace that commission is. That is unbelievable. First and foremost, in the, in the Pitbull Cruz fight, we had one judge that had Rolly Romero ahead at the time of the stoppage, okay? First and foremost. It's not the first time we get a ridiculous scorecard. It's not, we're never gonna find out who the judge is at this point. Somebody should get, do their due diligence. Even if we find out, it's not like anything ever happens to them. We, not only do you gotta start holding judges accountable, this time, at this point, you gotta start holding heads of commissions accountable. For them not doing anything, the heads of commissions gotta get launched. Fired off the jump, you know what I mean? You can't, you can't just have heads of commissions who don't get rid of these kind of referees or judges, man. Because that's crazy. That's not suspension worthy. That kind of, that kind of uh, uh, terrible scorecard is not suspension worthy. That's expulsion worthy. You don't ever judge another fight again. You're on the take. Somebody's on take. Oh, you, you're gonna say, oh, what, 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 uh, what proof do you have that I'm on the take? What proof do we have? Your scorecard is the proof. That's what proof is. That you're on the take. You're done. You're never working again. But the being that their heads of commissions don't ever do this, the heads of commissions gotta be held liable by the state governing bodies, the state the state government, and unfortunately nobody in state government is a boxing fan to, to even know what to do with this, but that's the problem, that's why you're never going to fix boxing, you got mutt on top of mutt on top of mutt calling the shots, the main event, same thing, I mean, Sebastian Fondor, congrats, listen, the guy put on a performance, congratulations, let's talk real now, the guy didn't win one second of the fight until Tim Zhu got cut, not one second of the fight, and he came out with an adjusted game plan from round one, it's not like this guy made an adjustment uh, uh, as a the fight wore on. He came out trying to use his distance for the first time in his life. He came out trying to jab for the first time in his life. Tim Zhu was using his parrying style. He has a, a great parrying style where he just uh, 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 over, overtakes your, your hands and uh, uh, gets close and closes the gap. It, it's not like Fundorum had came up with this adjusted game plan uh, later on and, and like changed the fight around. The cut changed the fight around. Fundora tried the box from the first from the go and he wasn't good enough at it for the first two rounds. He he got he he lost every second of the first two rounds. Every second of the first two rounds. You get the cut. Tim Zhu literally can't see. There's so much blood in his face. Tim Zhu literally can't see. Now I've seen fights in Vegas stopped. Over scratches over the eye, bro. Well, you guy can't see. It's it's dangerous. Stop. And I, this is what this is the disgrace of this commission. You let that fight go for twelve rounds, making that guy fight he where he couldn't see anything. And forget about that. It's costing him rounds. So that if you stop it at any other point, he's lost so many rounds that that then he's gonna lose the fight anyway. And then boy, you're forcing him to stay in the fight. But even even other than that, bro. Like how do you how do you allow that fight to go? Where'd you get that dog? Where'd that doctor come from? That doctor that's looking at the cut in the corner. You 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 see you. You're looking at the cut. The guy, the guy's bleeding going out into every round. It's going right into his eye every round. Where'd they get that doctor from? Where did he get his medical degree from? The Cracker Jack box? This guy. What are we out of each other's minds? Are we going nuts over here? Am I, am I losing my mind? And I'm not going to look like the hater. Oh, you're not congratulating Fandora. What are, he fought such a smart fight. He didn't fight a smart fight. He fought a smart fight the first two rounds and he showed he wasn't good enough at it. He, he, he got beat like, like he stole something the first two rounds. And he was gonna get beat up the whole fight until he got stopped, probably. You know what I mean? The, nothing was adjusted. The only adjustment that was there was Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu was the adjustment. The cut over his head. looked like he had a vagina on his head, the guy. Tim Zhu, the cut over his head. Listen, man, I always had a great cut, man, in Danny Milano. He stopped a lot of the blood from going in my eye. There was one fight that for certain moments, because I had multiple cuts, some blood got in my eye at different points of the fight. 
And I'm telling you, I couldn't see at all, bro. It was a Zab Judah fight when I got butted and I had cuts here, a couple of cuts over here or one under my eye, one above my eye. I don't even remember. There was multiple cuts on my face. But there was moments, bro, when the blood would get there, you can't see. You literally can't see, bro. You can't see. And luckily, I would go back to the corner. They would fix it. And luckily, I didn't get hit that much on top of that in that fight. So uh, between my cut man being awesome and Danny Milano and me not being really getting hit a lot, the cut didn't really affect me. Even in the uh, bare knuckle fight with Autumn Warbuck, I had a bad gash. But the guy didn't hit me. And I had a good my cut man, Danny Milano, in the corner. So the blood never got anywhere. When you have blood going all over your face and they couldn't stop that cut, you can't see. You can't nothing. This guy was all of a sudden getting hit with jabs where he was parrying all of them. It, it, like it, it, Early in the fight, I'm looking looking at Fondor and I'm looking at him trying to jab and trying to stay on the outside and it wasn't working because because Zoo was timing him perfectly he was parrying and coming over the top he was getting close and I was thinking to myself bro why doesn't this guy jab with his feet I mean not jab with his feet faint with his feet why doesn't he faint with his feet you know what I mean like you're, you're, you're putting that hand like lead hand out there and you're just letting it and, 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 and Zoo's seeing all of it and he's timing it start fainting with your feet so that you you make Zoo bite on something and then you come over the top with that lead jab like it's not like he was even good at what he was trying to do I mean, and I'm not even trying to hate on him. Because you know what? You're happy for the kid. He's a good kid. Both guys were really mature. But, bro, you just... What did they just do tonight, bro? Did I just did I just really watch what I just watched over here? Did I really just watch that garbage? You know what I mean? Like, how do you not stop that fight? How do you make a guy fight all 12 rounds like that where he can't see anything... And you, and you starting, and once you go past round four, you, you, you're adding the scorecards and you're making him lose rounds. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Bro, you know what, man? I'm looking at that fight. I would have been like, bro, after round four, I would have been like, bro, I can't see. F you, F everybody, I can't see. Maybe maximum round five, I can't see. You're not gonna, I'm not gonna let you take me into a different part of the fight where I can't see and it's gonna cost me rounds and then God forbid we get stopped or we gotta go the distance. I can't, I, and I'm gonna lose all these rounds because I can't see now. I'm gonna cut, cut, cut it ahead of time while I'm still ahead from my early, from the early lead I took in the fight and showed you that I'm better kid. Unbel, un, I'm, I'm, absolutely flabbergasted, bro, because now what happens is Tim's was not going to get a shot at anybody. They bring in Errol Spence, and it becomes a PBC show, where it just, you know, you just pass the belts around among PBC fighters, and Zoo's going to wind up going back to Australia, having to fight mid-range contenders for a year or two, you know what I mean? And, you know, where he sells a lot of tickets, and he'll be fine, but he'll never get, he won't, he won't get a shot now. They won't give him a shot. They'll, they'll, they'll pass those belts around to Errol Spence or something now. If Errol Spence isn't completely shot, he should be Fundora, because again, Fundora, you close the gap on him very easily, you know what I mean? Uh, the only reason... Zeus stopped closing the gap on him so easily. He's, again, he couldn't see. Closed the cut. All of a sudden, now he's getting hit with the jabs that Fondora's trying to hit him with before. So, again, it's not like Fondora was that um, tricky. You know, you saw it in the first two rounds. He was trying to jab. He was trying to box. He couldn't do it. The, the, guy, the guy doesn't even know what a feint is. You know, so it's not like he was changing the trajectory of everything. Everything happened because of the blood. Everything happened because of the blood. So what, what, I don't know what else, how, how else to break that down, man. But Isaac Cruz beat Rolly Romero much e more easily than I expected. I mean, I, I thought Rolly Romero would actually win that fight. But let alone if, if, if it was either way, I didn't think it would be that, that one side. Romero has very poor boxing ability. One, and he doesn't really stick to a consistent jab. Um, uh, Cruz has terrific sense of positioning where he, when he's close, he's does, he, he, even if you throw at him, he doesn't bust his positioning where he's all over the place. You know, sometimes guys try to block or get, or get out, the, get out of the way and they bust their whole position and they can't, they can't punch back. Cruz is always in a, in a really tight position and he doesn't, you know, he doesn't really lose his positioning. So therefore when you're done punching or when or he can punch with you or he can punch right after you're done punching, Actually, Zoo is good at that too. It's just he couldn't see. But regardless, Cruz does that very, very well as well. And it was forcing uh, that heat on on Romero. And Romero doesn't have a jab. He didn't have anything to hold hold him off with. Oh, he started holding a lot. You can see he was very, very uncomfortable and uh, really, really one sided. Really not a bad look for Romero because Romero won the title against Barroso in a fight where. You know, there was a big controversy there too, and now he ends up losing in in this defense. You hope the right thing is done, but I'm talking about the right thing is done in boxing on a night where none of the right things are ever done, including tonight. But you hope the right thing is done, and, and Ishmael Barosho gets the the shot at, at Pitbull Cruz. Wouldn't that be a dynamite fight? I don't think it would last long either way. Uh, but man, that would be a dynamite dynamite fight. I would love to see Cruz and Barosho, uh, and it would be the right thing done by Barosho, and of course Cruz, who's got a, a granite chin and a, again a great sense of positioning against Barosho, who's got dynamite in his hands but it's a little older so he may not be able to withstand the pressure of Cruz if he doesn't get him out of there I think it would be a, a phenomenal fight anyway man that's my breakdown I, I'm really I, I thought the Vegas Commission I, I really think the Vegas Commission was disgraceful tonight I mean that, that's my that's my take on it absolute absolute disgrace yeah you got okay you got 12 rounds out of the main event in a fight that 
probably would have been completely and uncompetitive and would have got stopped probably halfway through if uh, if there was this cut didn't happen from the elbow. But that's that's absolutely disgraceful. But especially like I said that I've seen cuts stop fights stopped over over minuscule cuts from that very same commission in my life. You know what I mean? Like I, uh, the politics are disgusting in boxing. You know, there's fights where you see almost uh, just a scratch on somebody's eye and they'll stop a fight and and they'll say, oh, it's because he couldn't see. And that, this fight tonight, they made this guy fight 10 out of 12 rounds where he couldn't see anything, bro. That is this, that is a disgrace, bro. That is a disgrace. Unbelievable. Bro. On top of which, you're taking people's lives and health into your hands too. Luckily, nobody gets hurt here, but the guy did obviously lose his titles. I'm Paulie Malanaji. I'm disgusted, and this is Paulie TV.